coming live from Minnesota with the JW Solar USA. In today's video, I'm going to be showing my lithium batteries. These are 8 kilowatt lithium battery here. And uh, this is the Ford Focus battery. So just these modules here is a 16, supposed to be 16.2, 16.2. So, and there are two little ones here. If you haven't seen these videos before, I'll encourage you to go to my playlist and see the way I set up these batteries before. So these two here act as one of these one here. So it's a 8.1, 8.1, so 16.2. That gives you the voltage for one battery of this. Okay. Uh, when I bought them for just the uh, the 48 volt configuration, you can have this one, this one, and this one plus one pack of this. Okay. See the other one over there? So I decided to buy the two extra packs to give me the, the 64.7 volt because of um, that's what I want for my inverter since the odd back can do it so uh, I just want a higher voltage so I can run a 60 volt so basically uh, it's a 48 volt but it's a 60 volt I'm running all right so um, for this guy right here the outback so you can take that 64.7 so right now what we're gonna do we're gonna do a capacity test or a voltage test sorry voltage test to see if these batteries are balanced because I'm using this battery without a BMS. They have a BMS that came with them, the um, default one or the traditional ones. They're boards in here, which they sent the wires for me. But since I'm not a BMS guy and I just want to run them this way, and they haven't given me any trouble, to be honest with you or to prove me wrong, today we can do a battery test, voltage test to tell you how balanced these batteries are. So these batteries are not off balance at all. And I'm hoping if they are not balanced, then that will really, really freak me out. They're supposed to be balanced. So what I did, this is a 16.2, 16.2, 16.2. These are 8.1, 8.1. When you tie them together, I give it a 16.2. So they act like four modules. So 16 times four, that gives you that kind of uh, voltage I was talking about. Okay. So that's the same thing. So that's why um, I was going to, like I was telling you, if you watched the last video about my um, bus bars right here, this is how it come to play. I'm going to be using the bus bars now because I want my batteries to be super balanced. I don't want them to uh, go out of balance. But that's what we're going to be proving today to see if this battery, even though uh, I've done the interconnect here, the positive and the positive here, this is how I parallel them to become a one big battery with more amp hour, ba uh, amp hour on these batteries. So that's what we're going to do. So you see here. This is the uh, the 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 negative right uh, negative tied to the negative, the positive tied to the positive, to increase the amperage and the voltage still stay the same. So it's reading as one bank. This is one string, like this string here and that string is the same voltage. So being said that um, same voltage, same voltage. Do we increase the amps? We don't want to go higher. Because you're going to go, if you have a 60, uh, 64.7 times, you're going to be a very high voltage. So I don't have any uh, inverter that can uh, handle that capacity. I would love to because I would like to put them all in series. Then I can increase the power. And more the higher the voltage, the more efficient, the lower the amps and the smaller wires. And um, more efficient is going to be. The amps going to drop though. All right, so that's what we're going to do. It's an 8 kilowatt right here. This is what I was talking about. This 8 kilowatt, I want to add it up to this one here. To this uh, guy right here, which is the Sanyo. Uh, we, 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 um, they, are, they run this Sanyo on the, the um, Volkswagen e-Golf. Okay, this is an 8.544 kilowatt, as you see right there. And... Um, the Ford Focus is just at 8 kilowatts, so it's 4 kilowatts on each side. So 
I didn't do the best job here on the bus bars before because bus bars were kind of very expensive and some people always say you can use copper wire copper uh, pipes I've tried that before but you know what the copper pipes is a vacuum it's empty inside is a hollow inside so even if you smash that and it's still it depends how many how much power you're gonna be putting the it's gonna be really warm or hot. So I don't like that idea. And they have their own bus bars uh uh interconnect that came with them. And uh guys uh there are little guys here. Well I'm gonna do so you see that that's the bus bar that came with it, the interconnect. So I have those and this is how you connect them into the series configuration. Look at that. It's a little bit uh, beefy. Um, not too bad. But these are the original ones that came with it. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to be testing the, the voltage on the um, on these batteries. So see uh, where we are. Well, stay tuned for that. All right, guys, uh, this is what we're going to do. I have my fluke meter right here. You guys have seen this before. And we're going to be testing it. We're going to put it into volt here, which is a DC volt right here. So it's going to be reading on zero, almost zero there. So I'm going to set it. I hope I can do this. I wish uh, my wife was here can help me so hold the meter on the camera so i gotta do this just to show you that you can run without a bms and battery still gonna be good you see that 16.2 16.3 and these batteries and let's do here to there see that 16.2 16.3 that's the third the second battery so let's do the third one here Sixteen is 16.2 16.3 see that well balanced it's more than a year. Oh, okay. These are the smaller packs. Okay, these are the two in one. The smaller packs we can still uh, try and test them individually. Okay, see that is uh eight point one. Eight point one, eight. See that eight point one, eight point two is flicking. So let's put it together now. See sixteen point two, three, like like this one's just like that. So one string is done. So let's go to the other single pack right here because we have two of the little ones, and let's try it again. Um, okay, I've made a video before uh, running battery without BMS and people were asking me how. Look at that. 8.1. 8.1. See that? So let's put it here. 16.2, 16.3, see that? Just like the other ones. So let's go to the full battery now, the one single pack here. Okay, I ain't got a contact yet. There you go. 16.3. See that? 16.2, 16.3. So 
So we come into the second to last battery. 16.2, 16.3. And now on the last battery, it's good I came up with this kind of strategy. 16.2, 16.3. See how balanced these batteries are? So guys, I just want to tell you these are all tied with the Chrysler Pacifica. This one's here, which is a LG Cam. There's other ones here. So guys, the batteries are well balanced. So I was worried a little bit, not too much, because if you, for this interconnect, these are the ones that normally throw batteries off. They interconnect when you parallel them like that. If you parallel them, I encourage you to parallel them with a bus bar. Then you can have very super accurate uh, uh, reading because when you charge, the power comes like if I, like I was saying yesterday, this is going to be like the main cable. Like for example, this one here. Or the big one right there. So it, it, it is bringing the power here in the center and distribute it evenly to this one old metal. So each battery is tied into one terminal and um, it's just going to work out pretty well. So the power distribution is even. The power coming in from the battery is going to um, the inverter or whatever to the main disconnect right here. It's all reading the same and the wire, the length is going to be the same. So what I did, always trying to get your wires um, um, accurate. So this wire here and this wire right here, this, these are the parallel wires. They're all the same length. I don't just like when they are like that because they tend to uh, do the terminal because these are two, what? I think it's a two hot cable. Yeah, if you can read from here, you can see a two hot cable. There you go. It's a B cable. So that's how I interconnect here. That's what I was telling you guys yesterday. I want to do the same thing here by having a bigger cable here because the interconnect, the interconnect is right here. Okay. It's right here that parallels the battery there and uh, parallel the battery on this one here so I want to change it to number one so if they can bring the power together and this one's gonna be here and they're just gonna be taking the power or everybody tied into the boss bar and everything's gonna be fine so you have a, a 8 kilowatt here if you can see it, it's an 8 kilowatt there and um, an 8.544 kilowatt here. That would be awesome. That gives you the 16.544 kilowatt. Right now, this uh, uh, Volkswagen Eagle, this one here can run the house three days consecutively. So if I happen to add this one back here, that's going to be a killing power. For the 24 volt so these guys here we stay here for the 48 volts respectively so these guys so that's what i'm going to say i have a, a four battery on this thing here bank so these are all parallel they're all parallel you can see them they're all and check those videos on this one you'll see what i did and they're all parallel because the voltage is already they just have to parallel them so they might probably be a super balance i'm going to be doing another um Another uh, update on these ones because they're tied together with these ones here. They're all tied together. So they might be absolutely or super accurate as well. So we have to do that again on the next video. See you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Love you guys all. I'm trying to do this. Um, I know some of you guys are impatient, but you have to be patient with me. I'm not going to just pop the, 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 the bus bar. Um, without checking the batteries because I want to show you the progress because there are a lot of people out there who are really fighting us that doesn't use BMSs. I'm trying to speak for um, the general pub, uh, general people like me who do use a BMS. I've been running these batteries. They're going to two years now and um, they are still balanced. So I'm just showing you. I think I've done the first. I think it's coming to because the, the batteries are here before I've done a review on them. So I just want to show you guys. Like and subscribe. Bye for now.